Hey guys, it's 45 and are you doing keto but not seeing the results you expected? Stalled weight loss, feeling constantly tired, or even gaining weight on keto? You're not alone. There are a few common keto mistakes that many people make, and these mistakes can seriously sabotage your weight loss journey. The good news is, once you identify these pitfalls, you can easily correct them and get back on track to crushing your goals. In this video, we're diving deep into the top 5 keto mistakes that might be slowing you down, and I'm giving you the tools to fix them right now. One of the biggest mistakes people make on keto is not tracking their macros. It's easy to think you can just wing it, but the truth is, without tracking, you're flying blind. Look, I get it, meticulously logging every bite can feel overwhelming, but trust me, it's crucial, especially in the beginning. Think of it as a learning curve. Once you get past it, everything becomes second nature. When you're first transitioning into ketosis, your body is adapting to burning fat for fuel instead of carbs. This is a significant metabolic shift and your body needs all the help it can get to make this transition smoothly. You need to make sure you're hitting those keto macros consistently to make that switch. Planning your meals ahead of time can be a game changer. It not only saves you time but also ensures you're sticking to your macro goals. We're talking about keeping those carbs low, protein moderate, and fat nice and high. This balance is what keeps you in ketosis and helps you reap all the benefits of the keto diet. And the biggest culprit I see tripping people up is hidden carbs. These sneaky little things can derail your progress without you even realizing it. They're sneaky, hiding in sauces, dressings, even in foods labeled low carb. Always read the labels carefully. Sometimes even a small serving can have more carbs than you think. You grab that salad thinking you're doing great, but that bottled dressing just cost you half your daily carb allowance. It's these small, seemingly insignificant choices that can add up. That's why tracking is non-negotiable, at least in the initial stages. It helps you stay accountable and aware of what you're putting into your body. It gives you that awareness of exactly what and how much you're consuming. Don't overcomplicate it though. Start simple and as you get more comfortable, you can get more detailed. There are tons of user-friendly apps out there that make it super easy. These apps can be your best friend on this journey, providing you with all the information you need at your fingertips. My Fitness Pal Carb Manager, these are just a couple of examples. Chronometer, you name it. Each of these apps has its own set of features, so explore a few and see which one fits your lifestyle best. Find one that clicks with you and make it a habit to log your food. Consistency is key here. The more consistent you are, the easier it becomes. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to eyeball portions and make smarter choices on the fly. This skill will serve you well, not just on keto, but in any healthy eating plan you choose to follow in the future. All right, let's talk about fat because this is where I see so many people getting keto wrong. For years, we've been told that fat is the enemy, that it clogs arteries and makes us gain weight. So naturally, some people approach keto with this fear of fat, drastically cutting it down, even when it's supposed to be their primary energy source. Here's the deal. On keto, healthy fats are your best friend. They're what keeps you feeling full and satisfied, preventing those cravings that can send you derailing off track. When you skimp on fat, you're constantly hungry, your energy plummets and your body starts holding on to every calorie because it thinks it's in starvation mode. Embrace the good fats. Avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, nuts and seeds, fatty fish like salmon and mackerel. These are all nutritional powerhouses that fuel your body and keep you feeling amazing on keto. Remember, fat doesn't make you fat. In fact, it's essential for hormone production, cell function, and yes, even weight loss on a ketogenic diet. Let's talk about electrolytes, the unsung heroes of the keto diet. These tiny minerals play a massive role in keeping your body functioning smoothly, especially when you're on a low-carb journey. When you first start keto, your body sheds water weight like crazy. This initial drop can be exhilarating, but there's more happening beneath the surface. And while that's awesome for seeing those numbers on the scale go down, you're also flushing out essential electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and magnesium. These minerals are vital for various bodily functions. These electrolytes are crucial for muscle function, nerve transmission, and maintaining fluid balance in your body. Without them, your muscles can't contract properly, and your nerves can't send signals efficiently. When they're depleted, you get hit with the dreaded keto flu fatigue, headaches, muscle cramps, you name it. It's your body's way of telling you that it needs more of these essential nutrients. Not exactly the energy boost you were hoping for, right? Instead of feeling vibrant and full of life, you might find yourself feeling sluggish and frustrated. The good news is, preventing electrolyte imbalance is pretty simple. 
with a few mindful adjustments, you can keep your energy levels up and avoid those nasty symptoms. First off, don't be afraid of salt. On a keto diet, your body needs more sodium than usual because you're not retaining as much water. Salt your food to taste, and consider adding some electrolyte-rich drinks to your routine. These can be a game-changer in maintaining your electrolyte balance. Bone broth is fantastic, packed with minerals and flavor. It's a delicious way to boost your sodium and other electrolytes. You can also find sugar-free electrolyte powders or tablets to add to your water. These are convenient and effective, especially if you're on the go. And don't forget about electrolyte-rich foods. Incorporating these into your diet can make a significant difference. Leafy greens, avocados, nuts and seeds, even dark chocolate, in moderation of course, can help replenish your stores. These foods are not only nutritious but also delicious. Pay attention to your body and if you start feeling those keto flu symptoms creeping in, up your electrolyte intake. Listen to what your body needs and respond accordingly to stay on track with your keto journey. All right, let's talk about the carb cycle because this is a trap I see so many people fall into. It's a common pitfall, especially for those new to the keto lifestyle. You start off strong, full of motivation and determination, but then something happens. You're doing great all week, sticking to your macros, feeling fantastic, and then bam, the weekend hits, or maybe a social event, and suddenly you're faced with temptation. You have a cheat meal, or maybe you don't realize those healthy snacks you're grabbing are loaded with hidden carbs. It could be anything from a seemingly innocent granola bar to a handful of trail mix. Here's the thing. When you consume carbs, your body switches back to burning glucose for fuel. This is a natural response, but it can derail your progress if it happens too often. And if you're constantly cycling in and out of ketosis, you're never giving your body a chance to become fully fat adapted. This adaptation is crucial for reaping the long-term benefits of a ketogenic diet. This means you're not experiencing the full benefits of keto, like sustained energy, appetite control, and yes, even fat burning. These benefits are what make the keto diet so effective and appealing. The key here is consistency. Consistency is what will help you stay in ketosis and keep your body burning fat for fuel. Avoid those carb bombs that send you crashing back into sugar cravings. These cravings can be powerful and can easily lead to a cycle of overeating and weight gain. Read labels carefully because carbs can hide in the most unexpected places. Even foods marketed as healthy can be deceptive. Sauces, dressings, processed foods, even some protein bars can be loaded with hidden sugars. These hidden sugars can add up quickly and knock you out of ketosis. Instead, focus on whole, unprocessed foods. These foods are not only healthier but also less likely to contain hidden carbs. Load up on leafy greens, cruciferous veggies, healthy fats, and quality protein sources. These foods will help you stay full and satisfied while keeping your carb intake low. The more you stick to these keto staples, the easier it becomes to stay in that fat-burning zone and achieve those incredible results you're after. Remember, the journey to a healthier you is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay consistent, stay focused, and you'll get there. Here's the truth bomb. Keto is not a quick fix. It's not about white-knuckling your way through a restrictive diet for a few weeks, losing a few pounds, and then going back to your old ways. That's a recipe for yo-yo dieting and frustration. Keto is about making a sustainable lifestyle change. It's about adopting a way of eating that prioritizes whole, nutrient-dense foods that nourish your body and optimize your health. It's about understanding how different foods impact your energy levels, your hormones, and your overall well-being. So, ditch the all-or-nothing mentality. Instead of focusing on how quickly you can lose weight, focus on making gradual, sustainable changes that you can stick with long-term. Start by incorporating more healthy fats into your diet, swapping out processed foods for whole, unprocessed alternatives, and listening to your body's hunger cues. Remember, this is a journey, not a race. Embrace the process, celebrate your wins, and don't beat yourself up over slip-ups. The more you focus on making keto a sustainable part of your life, the more incredible results you'll see both in terms of weight loss and overall health. So there you have it, the top five keto mistakes to avoid for faster, more sustainable weight loss. Remember, it's all about consistency, making smart choices and tuning into your body's needs. And if you hit a plateau, don't panic. It's totally normal. Sometimes small tweaks like reducing dairy intake or reassessing your macros can be all it takes to get things moving again. Now I want to hear from you. What are your biggest keto challenges? Drop a comment below and let's create a supportive community where we can share tips, tricks, and encouragement. And based on your feedback, I'll be creating a follow-up video addressing your most pressing keto questions. So, 
stay tuned, and keep crushing those goals.